Hey everybody, happy new year. Welcome to the Cow Emporium. I am so excited today. You know who loves a challenge? This one loves a challenge. So I have been thinking about this since August, okay? Uh, in the, in the middle-ish of August when I was starting to harvest stuff from the garden, I was like, you know, we should do a challenge where we eat only what we grew, what we raised, harvested, foraged, or basically put away from the farm in 2020. So that's what we're going to do. Starting January 4th, we're going to go for 21 days. And that's going to, we'll, we'll cut her off about uh, the end of the day on January 24th. So by January 25th, we can enjoy some food that wasn't from us and you know we're we're gonna have lots of food as you'll see coming up here I'm gonna show you uh, the food that we get to use and I did make an executive decision and uh, there are some things that of course we're going to use that we didn't necessarily grow but just to keep our sanity but you'll see it's not very much so we do have lots of food, but 21 days. And our only sources of protein are the chicken we raised and eggs that we eat. And I do sell about nine dozen eggs a week. And I'd like to keep doing that. So we're not gonna have copious amounts of eggs. I've actually, over the holidays, I froze, um, I froze raw eggs, whole eggs, uh, and in ice cube trays. And so just in case uh, we are running low a little bit because like I said I mean I have people that like the eggs and so I'm gonna keep selling them and so yeah I'm excited so what's gonna happen I'm gonna try not to drive y'all crazy so I'm gonna try to post just once a week we're gonna take pictures every day of uh, all the meals that we eat so at the end of each week I'll just put like a compilation video uh, showing you what we ate for the days because probably what I eat is gonna look different than what Glenn eats <laughs> Anyway, come along for the ride guys 21 days of eating only Stuff that we grew made saved or raised Okay, everybody let's go through what's gonna be on the menu for the next 21 days starting tomorrow We have uh, ground up some wheat. So we have flour. We have the bran. Uh, in this we have, uh, basically it's a cream of wheat. It's just a coarsely cracked wheat berries. That is a homemade zucchini salsa, pickled carrots, pickled beets, dill pickles, Glenn was a smarty pants and told me that I should bring in some plants from the garden. So that's a beautiful rosemary plant and that is thyme. We have, of course, we have chicken. Thank goodness. We need some protein besides eggs. So we do have chicken, dried apple, dried onion, dried garlic, and then we have some tomato jam I grew, that I made with the tomatoes that I grew. Uh, sea buckthorn jelly. Lilac syrup. We have the squashes. We have zucchinis. And we have the amounts of how much we have. We have six zucchinis, approximately that size. We have 20 spaghetti squashes. About 13 of these little pumpkins, um, five capacha squashes, I think that's what this green one is called. And in the front here, uh, left to right on the cutting board, that is oats that we grew, the wheat berries that we grew, homemade butter, onions a different way. Of course, we have eggs and the potatoes. You can see that they're starting to sprout already. Uh, dried herbs that I dried. So there is sage, parsley, oregano, rosemary, super chilies, 
and that's the Scarlet Runner beans that I dried. If we were really desperate, there'd be one handful there to eat. And some rose hips that I picked back at the beautiful place in the summer pasture and dried them. That'll be a nice uh, vitamin C hit. Okay, let's move on to the fermented things. There is some fermented tomatoes and of course the sauerkraut. That's just one sampling of the sauerkraut. I mean, we have jars and jars of it of uh, different colors downstairs. We have the cheese selection from when we were milking 18 and we were making cheese. Got some stretchy mozzarella. That happens to be some dill pickle, but we have lots and lots of cheese in the freezer. Okay, to the back of the table. Those are dehydrated carrots. They're pretty amazing actually when you throw them into a super stew, they rehydrate pretty well. That is some dehydrated kale. We have frozen tomatoes, peas, raspberries, saskatoons, corn, apples, and beets. Now, on to the frozen milk. So we do have a little bit of frozen milk left in the freezer. I'm not sure how long it'll last. I do not think there's going to be any cream there. Uh, but maybe as we eat through stuff, we'll find a hidden gem. These are field peas that have been dried. And I don't know if we've ever talked about it, but we do have bees here on the farm. Uh, they're not bees that we manage, but we do get the honey from them. Incidentally, this is going to be our only source of uh, sugar sweetness, which takes me back to the homemade hooch. That's some homemade apple cider in the back. And then lastly, two of the things that um, I'm going to allow us to have it's just because, you know, in the interest of staying married, <laughs> we need to have coffee. So these are ground coffee beans, Tim Hortons variety, and olive oil in the background, salt and pepper, and tea. So the one thing that we talked about that I don't have here is whether or not we should be allowed to have uh, baking powder to use and or yeast. So I don't have it on the table here, but I do have a sourdough starter that we could definitely use. Uh, the whole wheat flour is going to be very rustic to use. Anyway, what do you guys think? 21 days and this is what we get to choose from to eat. Now, of course, I mean, we don't just have three potatoes and stuff like we, we actually have probably 500 pounds of potatoes to eat from, but uh, what do you guys think? And what do you think about uh, using yeast and or uh, baking powder to uh, make muffins or biscuits with or crackers? So let me know if you have thoughts on that, drop it in the comments. Okay guys, I'm super excited. 